Hey guys, Stealth Jacob here, and welcome back to the Direwolf 20 1.10 mod pack. Today we're going to do some more Tinker's Construct stuff, and we're going to try and make a super powerful cleaver today. Now the reason I want to make a cleaver is because, um, for what I'm going to be doing, I want to make a lot of filters and stuff like that for my item storage system, but to do that we need a lot of zombie heads, and one of the best ways to get a zombie head is by making a cleaver because it comes with the enchantment um, I think it's called beheading 2 the cleaver uh, yeah beheading 2 it comes with and we can have beheading we can add multiple levels of beheading to make it even better which would be awesome so basically we'll just use the same to get a ton of zombie heads and stuff like that for when we need them Plus it does a lot of damage. So let's get started. So to make a cleaver we need what materials? We need um, a tough a tough tool rod, a large sword blade, a large plate, and a tough two tough tool rods? Okay. Um, okay so we need I don't think we have all these in the chest yet. Do we have the tough tool rod? We do have the tough tool rod, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna collect. Where we need to find some wood. Um, there's a little bit. We need to make some more blank patterns, or at least I think I have some made somewhere. Oh, yeah, we have nine right here. Cool. So yeah, let's go and craft some of these tool parts using the tool forge here. Or no, we, okay. So we need. So we have, all right. Uh, so we have. I think we need the tough knife, the large sword blade, and the um, large plate. Oh no, we actually have the large plate already, so that's really handy. We just need the blade. Okay, so we can just make that. So stencil table. We put a stencil in, and we choose the design. Large sword blade. There we go. So we'll put that in here. Now we have the large sword blade pattern. I'm also just going to... Do we need any more? I'll leave these in here. Um, I'm just thinking, like, what do we... Uh, we'll leave it. We don't need those right now. So we have all the main parts that we need to make this. What I'm going to do right now, though, is I'm going to drop 16 clay into this thing so we can make some clay... Um, so we can make some of the clay casting pattern things that last for one use because I don't think we need gold ones or anything like that I might make like a gold ingot one at one point that might be a smart idea but besides that we don't need one so yeah we need to start crafting this thing now so we need cobblestone to make these parts I'm just gonna so I'm trying to think what parts that we want to make the ham this thing out of. I feel like we want one part to be wood, for sure. Um. Yeah, we can we like search for manilium stuff. Like if we hover over the blade, does it tell us how much damage it does? Not really. But we want to use manilium for the blade, I'm pretty sure. We just need to have wood somewhere, but I don't know where. Where would be a good spot for that? For the cause I don't know if we want the tool rod to be made of wood. Actually, if we do the the tool the rod can be made of wood, actually, that makes sense. So we're gonna craft at least one tool wooden tough tool rod. Get some shards, okay. One of them is going to be made of wood. I'm thinking it's the bottom one, I think. And we'll make it the rest of it. We'll make manilium of the blade. And let's just check. Are there any unique modifier things? Or not? Like, do we have, like, maybe, like, slime or something? That might be cool. Um... Hmm. 
Maybe... How about obsidian, maybe? That might be a good idea. We'll make it out of wood, obsidian, and manilium. Does that sound good? So it will repair itself, and then it'll just be really hard to break, too. So We'll make one of these out of obsidian. Because we need two. Why does the durability go down? Who cares? It'll look cool either way. So, we have that. The next part that we need is the... We need manilium. So we have a bunch of clay. So we need to make manilium. Let's see. How much do we get if we drop one of each in? I forget. I did went back to... I went to the nether and got some extras, by the way. So, yeah. That's cool. Let's go grab some more obsidian while that's cooking. And we will... Um, build the last other part. So yeah, we're not going to use a lot of manilium, but I think it should do a lot of damage still. So hopefully that will work out. Um, where's my obsidian? It's up there. Don't we need like, I think we need eight of it for the part, so that's a lot. We'll see how this works though. I hope it will be durable. So, let's craft the this thing with a obsidian. I mean, it'll at least look cool, I think, because it'll be black and, like, purple. Or, pur I guess it'll just be purple, just different shades of it. So that won't look too bad. So we have almost the parts... We just need the manilium blade. I wonder if we should switch that up. We'll see how it looks. Because I kind of care about that for some reason. So we get two. So this will be four. So six, eight. So that should be all we need for that. So we just need to wait for that to smelt. While we're waiting, I'll go throw my XP in the obelisk that we have. We'll do that. 46 levels. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm not, we'll have to make a hammer to at one point, but I think for now, since I want to start working on the Ender I.O. stuff, we're going to build the cleaver. Also, I've been gathering a lot of Ender Pearls from the Ender Lily Seeds, so we're doing really well on that part. Um, okay, so don't I have, I think I have to, so we need the large blade, we need to make it out of stone. Okay, it's made out of stone. You can go back in the chest. And we need to make sure clay is on the bottom. And we need to surround this thing with clay. It is turning nighttime, so if we can finish this thing, that'd be really good. So it's been built. Now we have manilium, and we'll pour it. Let's see. I hope. I want to see how much damage it does. If it can one shot zombies, that'll be really good. If not, I'm not sure what we need to do. And it, it takes a while to harden, I guess, so we have to wait for that. <coughs> so, I'm also. Also, if we look in the book, um, the beheading modifier is used with what? An ender pearl and obsidian. Okay. So if we really want to get extra levels of beheading, we could just add a bunch of those too, so we can get a higher chance of it. All right. We have the tool rod. How much damage will this do? That's what I'm curious about. 14 attack damage. Which one has more durability? Does it matter? Oh, this one has a lot more. So I think we're going to do this. And we're going to name it the B header. Uh, I think that's how you spell it. <laughs> yeah. The B header. 
So we have the beheader. Um, let's add a couple. How many modifiers do we have on it? We have three. Do you think we should? We'll put. Hmm. Do we want to put all of it from the, from be for beheading? I wonder. It swings relatively. Eh, it's actually pretty fast at swinging. Hmm. But if we put it in here, and we put an obsidian and an ender pearl. Beheading three. Do we want to go max beheading? Beheading four. Beheading five. Okay, yeah. This is going to be awesome. Okay, we need to find some zombies now. I also need to see how much damage it does. It might take like two hits to do it. To kill something. We'll see. Let's test it out. There's a creeper. Oh yeah, we we can get creeper heads and stuff too. All right, at two shots a creeper. Hmm, the beheading's not working out too well so far. The durability is very high though, so that's really good. Come on, beheading! Why are you not working? All right, there we go. We got our first head there. So, yeah, this is going to be a great way. The reason I wanted this is because with the zombie heads, we can craft. Um, I think... I got to kill the zombie quick. Oh, the baby zombie. Oh, cool. He dropped his gear. That's awesome. Okay, we're getting a lot more heads now. Awesome. It's working. Almost every time. Maybe it would have been a good idea to add knockback on this for creepers, but I'm not exactly sure. We'll just head in here very fast. So the reason I wanted beheading was because to make um the filters that we want, we're going to be going for mostly advanced filters. We need these Z controllers, which need zombie heads. So that's the reason we're doing this. And so far, it's really good. We got five zombie heads right now. So yeah, we can easily get enough zombie heads to do our... Oh, I'm actually swinging too fast, I'm realizing. All right. But yeah, this thing does a ton of damage, and it will repair itself. So yeah, that's really cool. We got a nice cleaver, guys. So yeah, let's keep killing some mobs and get just a ton more zombie heads. Luckily, zombies aggro really easily. Oh, I wonder... Hmm. These chickens are annoying. <laughs> maybe it's the... Maybe we get a better chance of getting ahead if we um wait for the like swing to recharge fully maybe that could help let's go does, does it work on skeletons too or is it just zombies really oh I keep missing oh my gosh nope it works on skeleton oh no oh. yeah creepers suck <laughs> But yeah, this is a great way to get a ton of zombie heads. Plus they aggro super easily. So yeah. This has been a success. Oh, we got the achievement overkill. Deal nine hearts of damage in a single hit. Oh, yeah, we did that. Pretty cool. But, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode of the Direwolf 21.10 mod pack. It's been a little bit short, but we did what we wanted to do, and we built this cool cleaver to get a bunch of mob heads. So, now we can do things like make a bunch of filters and use the, just any mob head that we need, basically. But, yeah, that's going to do it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all next time. See ya!